Well, well, well. Here we are. Pastor Owen here. And? Why would you do this, Dad? Well, people like to know what's going on around here. Uh, <laughs> How <laughs> funny is it? Well, it can be funny. Sometimes I'm not that funny. You're, you, uh, on the other hand, you're quite hilarious. Banana. But, did you, <laughs> did you call, me, call me a banana? I called, I said that in the minute, you know, because banana's funny. I don't know if I get it. <laughs> you can send me get a video of this and at home for us. We could watch it at home. Yeah. And we might even have a banana at home. Or, here, let's transition into something else. We're heading into the fifth Sunday uh, after Epiphany. <laughs> That wasn't the punchline, man. Uh, <laughs> but we uh, we'll t we'll talk about salt. What it is to be the salt of the earth? Should we draw that right now? You you can draw pictures of things, and I think that's really good practice. That's a good idea. So yes, we are going to get a word uh, continuing in the fifth chapter. of Matthew and the supporting texts uh, speak of the light of the world, certainly as well in this season of Epiphany. But yeah, salts, you are salt that doesn't lose its saltiness. I'm not salt! Well, I'm going to tell you something different. You are. Isn't that funny? I'll explain later. How about that? Um... We've got um, an adult Bible study on Wednesday night at 6.30. Men's breakfast was held last Friday, but we're getting after it again, aren't we, men? Breakfast, guys. We are because this previous one was moved due to weather one time, so we're on again. It'll be the first meeting in February. Yes, we're heading into our next month of the year, 2023. You know what else is ahead of us? Actually... Do you know whose birthday today it is, Silas? Whose birthday is it today? Ah, uh, Clara's. Nope, that was a few weeks ago. It's my brother's tomorrow, Kyle. Yeah. You, you know him, and yeah. you and you know whose birthday it is today too. It's Karen Mosier. Tackled Kyle tackles me a lot, and I, I, and. We like using the paper cutter. You do like using the paper cutter in the office, and your Uncle Kyle does tackle you quite a bit. Yeah. You're going to have to get him back. Karen doesn't tackle you, does she? She takes care of you. She doesn't tackle you to the ground at church. Kason, it's going to be Kason's birthday on Sunday. Case and Hansman, how about that? So, happy birthday to the both of you for this week. Um, we'll uh, let you get going on this little bit different how it's going with Pastor Owen uh, with a verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. What we have received is not the spirit of the world. The world will often reject it. Dad, you like not doing the paper cutter, too. I'm cool with the paper cutter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given to us. So it is a great cost to Him, but He gives this righteousness by faith. And thankfully, he doesn't give us faith as our job to do. We don't come by it rationally or by what we see or by anything that is of this world.
but from the Holy Spirit. So this will, this verse very much mirrors what you might read in the third article of the Creed, Luther's explanation. And uh, yes, it is through this word, oh, you got your cool guy sunglasses, that you are given the righteousness of Christ by faith, the work of the Holy Spirit, because he will give you an ear to hear it, Silas. He illumines and enkindles hearts so that they will understand and cling to not your cool sunglasses or any other good gift, but the word, uh, the word of forgiveness and mercy. Uh, so we will persevere and cling to that word no matter what comes our way. We will not lose our saltiness. And uh, so, yeah, a good promise that our Lord is for us and gives this to us like this. You want to say bye to the people, Silas? Have a good day, everybody. you have anything else to say? No. Everybody like me. May you all be so playful today. Everybody like me.